Hi everyone, welcome to today's devotion. Do you ever just sit back and look at your surroundings and say, wow, there is so much beauty. God nourishes our souls and one way he does this is with his loving presence through the beauty of nature. Psalm 19, 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the works of his hands. The moon and the stars remind us that God's light and love shines to us even in the dark. Nature shows God's beauty, his glory, his power, his presence, his creativity. There are so many things in nature that would make you say, wow, like the Grand Canyon. And there's so many other things and so many other places throughout the world. But you know, right here in West Point, that's a wow for me. I am in such awe of the beauty right here in West Point, the beauty of nature mm. and the beauty of love that flows from so many people here. Every morning when I drive to work, it's dark, but I get to drive on a road that is lined with trees. I'll see the, be the deer bedded down in the orchard. I see the foxes running across the road. I see jackrabbits scurrying about. I've even seen a bear running down the road. And as long as I don't get too close with my car, I even get to enjoy the skunks walking, or it's really more like a waddle. Then at work, I get to see all the different people that I'm in contact with. We and nature are God's beautiful creation. It's daylight now and I'm driving home. And again, I'm surrounded by beautiful trees. The trees, they shimmer in the sunlight. Right now, the leaves are like gold in the sunlight. I see the pond with its ducks. I see lizards, turkeys, squirrels gathering walnuts. Sometimes they're sitting on the big beautiful rocks, enjoying the warmth of the sun. The joy of watching birds taking a bird bath or the hummingbirds flying from one feeder to another. We are surrounded by the creativity, goodness, and wisdom of our loving God. When you look around, truly open your eyes and thank God for his creativity, the nature that surrounds you and the unique people he has created, each with his or her own special talents, abilities, and gifts. We are surrounded by God's fantastic craftsmanship. Psalm 104, 24. How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Life is full of beauty. Smiling faces, the smell of rain, the wind blowing in your face, the beauty of the flowers, birds singing, the amazing sunrises and sunsets that we have right here in West Point. God created this. God created us. That's a wow. When you look at a piece of art, you know, so many times it reflects the artist. Well, look around you, the people, at nature, the beauty of it all. It reflects the artist, God, every day. Take in the beauty that surrounds you. Life is full of beauty. Notice the bumblebees, the clouds, the falling leaves, the beauty of love in family and friends, the kindness of a stranger, the simple pleasures of life, the beauty in fellowship, and the beauty of God's unfailing love for us. Amen. I'd like to share a poem with you, and it was written by Cecil Francis Alexander. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors, he made their tiny wings. The purple-headed mountain the river running by, the sunset 
and the morning that brightens up the sky, the cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden. He made them, every one. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell. How great is God Almighty who has made all things well. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace be with you.